So if you replace the mass sensor and the error code is still coming back or you can't get it to clear and the engine light's staying on, I thought I'd go over some of the other things that could cause a mass sensor code, even if the mass sensor is good and how you go about fixing it. And so first thing, in case you don't know, be sure you clear the code to see if it comes back because if you don't clear the code, it might take a while before the computer resets it. And so use the scan tool and clear it. If you don't have a scan tool, some people will remove the battery cable and wait like a minute or two and put it back on. But however you do it, if you don't know, be sure you clear the code to see if it comes back. And so some of the other possible causes, well, it could be a dirty air filter, it could be in the wiring like an open or short, it could be a blown fuse, it could be a vacuum leak, it could be a clogged catalytic converter, and it could be a faulty MAF sensor. And so first thing to do is go check out the air filter, be sure that it's good, because if it's clogged up, it's going to restrict the airflow going into the engine, and so that's going to throw everything off and that can cause a problem. So first thing to do, be sure that air filter is clean and it's not dirty and blocking airflow. And so if the air filter is good or you replace it, next thing to go to check out is going to be the wiring and anything wrong with the wiring is going to cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor so you definitely want to check that out you basically just examine it be sure everything's connected good if you have a multimeter you can check it for the right voltages and be sure there's no opens or shorts or things like this and there can be a little bit different on how they're wired or what's going on with the voltages but most of them will have like two grounds and they'll have voltage coming from the battery and they'll have sensor voltage or something along these lines you'll have to get a wiring diagram or schematic for your particular vehicle to know for sure what's going on but if you have a multimeter you could definitely check for voltage and you could check to be sure that it's got good grounds and the next thing to go and check for is going to be a blown fuse and the mass sensor is usually on a fuse although often it's kind of vague which fuse it is on some vehicles for example here's a 2015 honda crv and there's a fuse underneath the dashboard labeled acg and it'd be fuse number two and this is for the math sensor but this fuse also has other things on its circuit it has like the purge valve on it and it has the ambient temperature sensor on it it has a few different things going on with it so if you're getting a lot of other codes a lot of other things popping up you might have a blown fuse you're probably gonna have to research a little bit to find out which fuse is for the math sensor or you could just go through all of them and just look for any blown fuses in the engine compartment fuse box and the fuse box inside of the vehicle but next thing to go and look for is going to be a blown fuse and the next thing that can cause this problem is a vacuum leak or an intake manifold leak something along these lines and that can cause an issue and throw a math sensor codes there's some different ways you go about finding a vacuum leak a lot of mechanics will start the engine they'll use some kind of flammable spray and they'll spray where they think the leak is at and if the engine idles up then they know the leak is there so that is one method the method I like to use is the smoke machine method. And basically with this method, you feed smoke into the intake with the smoke machine and the smoke will come out wherever the leak's at and it just makes it easy to find. There's some low cost smoke machines on like Amazon or eBay. You can also make up a low cost DIY smoke machine for like less than five, $10. There's some YouTube videos on that. But however you want to go about doing it, the next thing to do is to be look for a vacuum leak to see if it's throwing off that math airflow sensor. And then the next thing that can cause this issue is a clogged up catalytic converter. And the reason this happens is because it gets clogged up and it gets back pressure inside the engine which can throw off the MAF sensor since the air is not just going through the engine properly. If it is a catalytic converter you're very likely going to be getting other codes like a P0420 code that'd be very common. You'll be getting catalytic converter codes. So if you are getting catalytic converter codes and you're getting MAF sensor codes then the next thing you go and check is if the catalytic converter is clogged up. And the last thing on this list is going to be that that MAF sensor is just faulty. And while this doesn't happen very often every now and again you can get some Something from the auto parts store or online or wherever you ordered it and that sensor is just bad or faulty for some reason and like I said it is fairly rare but it does happen sometimes so if you went through and you checked everything else out and you can't find out what the issue is then you might have gotten a faulty math sensor and you might just need to return it and get a new one and so that's basically it I just wanted to go over other things to look for that if you change out the math sensor and you're still getting a math sensor code what else to look for and what else to check if you have anything to add please comment down below if you have any questions ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.